No, I'm warning you. I play under public health legislation. If you don't move, then go. Oh yeah. I'm going to arrest you. All right. Yeah, go then. See, you got to go, ain't you? I can. Sh you got to go, mate. Mate, what are you doing? You got to go, mate. Why are you fucking? What are you doing? Oh, I'm going, get right, off me there. Listen, mate, listen, mate. Mate, right, look at you. What are you doing? Excuse me, 40. A dummy butt has become my life. I have a wife and two children who love me. I am the victim of police brutality, you know. All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. Dummy butt has become my rights. And by invisible, cause you know me. You black a bitch promised me free liver. All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. Pull through where we've seen you before. Sure. I mean, uh, it was nearly four years ago now. Um, I come to petition the, the, the Crown, uh, the, the state um, regulations, and I was... Uh, on, the attacked lockdowns. on the lockdowns and I was attacked by five officers um, for doing for freedom of speech freedom assembly and they attacked me on the streets of London um, now obviously four years later we've just got um, the judge agreeing with us that the individual police officers are liable and they are liable for their actions the riot squad decided to beat him, handcuff him, put him in a prone position on the floor, and his own, in his own league, or nine stone, eight stone, 18 stone riot police, once they've got him handcuffed face down, they was jumping on top of him, smashing his head on the floor, he's handcuffed, can't do anything, they rubbed pepper spray into his mouth, and they also um, dragged him off, kept him in custody, but then, they had the audacity, bearing in mind he was non-violent, completely non-aggressive. What happened? They then charged him with attempted assault. This is not only for Charlie Staple, this is for each and every one of us. For you, for your children, and even your grandchildren, this may be the biggest gift to your family and even friends. We have all seen and heard of people getting a beating by police and even Crown servants I ask that you search deep within your being, how you have been wronged by someone that believes they have that power over you. This is about police being allowed to torture and having a law to veto so they are not punished. This will be a leading court case in the UK that government don't want you to win. Imogen, if it was your fiend or family, I do ask that you please look into your hearts and help just by a small donation to help fund the process of taking the UK government to task.